getting ready for more Halloween fun. Hi, this is Penny Halgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.tv and QuiltBlockLibrary.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do this cats and mice quilt block pattern and this is part of the Halloween quilt that's on the wall behind me. Of course this can be put together for any kind of quilt that you want. I'm going to use a strip piecing method to sew this together so it'll go a lot quicker than if I cut every single one of these rectangles. I've got my strips cut and I'm ready to go. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Each one of the patches in this block is just three rectangles. So you could cut out each one of these rectangles and sew them together like that. But I decided it would be quicker and more accurate to sew the strips together and then cut the patches into squares once the strips are sewn together. So it's just one pattern. I need to sew a dark, a light, and a dark. So I'm just going to sew all of those strips together. Since I'm just sewing one block, I really only need one strip. And it needs to be, I figured out it needed to be 36 inches long in order to get enough four and a half inch squares out of here. So now that I've got my strips sewn together, I'm going to take it over to my rotary cutting mat and cut it into squares that are going to be the same size as the square in the center. Now I have my strips cut into four inch, or actually these ended up being four and a quarter inch patches, so I'm ready to sew them together. And I'm just going to fold these two rows or patches over, sew down here, and then I'll attach these this final column. I've got the patches in these two columns done, so I'll just add these and then we'll be ready to sew the block together. The next step is to sew the top row to the center row. So I'll pull this down and just sew the seam across. Now all that's left in this block is just to sew this bottom seam and then it's finished. This cats and mice quilt block is finished and ready for our Halloween quilt or any other quilt you want to use it for. This is kind of a fun block because it's got a big center square and if you want, you can replace that with a picture of, well, your favorite cat or mouse. This is Penny Hallgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.tv and QuiltBlockLibrary.com. If you're not already over there, head on over to QuiltBlockLibrary.com and get your free download of this pattern. There are also a number of variations of blocks called Cats and Mice, so you can check those out. And I've done at least one video on a different Cats and Mice quilt block that you can sew together and that's posted on quiltblocklibrary.tv. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, peaceful piecing.